Well, gee, we were all shocked to hear this yesterday, weren't we? Former married at first sight relationship expert and clinical neuro psychotherapist Dr. Tricia Statford has sadly died at the age of 72. She helped to launch one of Channel 9's most successful programs of the past decade. Her friend and colleague on the show, John Aiken, joins us now. John, thanks for coming in this morning. Terrible news. How are you doing? Uh, oh, well, I've, uh, to be honest, very sad. Mm. You know, we're all shocked by it. And, um, you know, she was an amazing woman. She achieved so much in her life. Yeah. Uh, and she was a, a great friend. Yeah. I, I think um, everyone was just like, what? I mean, mm. I, I couldn't believe she was 72. Mm. I mean, whenever she came on our program, she was just so effervescent and she looked ageless. Yeah. Um, and and for, for it to have kind of happened was, was hard for people to confront yesterday and navigate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's look, people who didn't know her. I know, mm. I know. There was an outpouring of, of love for her all around the world because Married is such a huge uh, TV show. But... Um, you know, she, she was an amazing woman. She, nothing could really rattle her. She was always the smartest person in the room when I was around her. Um, the mass participant would throw things at them. She was fine. Mm. You'd flirt with her on the set, <laughs> you know, and she'd just shrug it off. You I know, loved she, her. I thought she was a beautiful woman inside yeah, and out. Yeah. yeah, she was incredibly intelligent, uh, but warm and engaging. And uh, we all loved her, you know, and, and I think um, she was really that person at the uh, cornerstone of the show that was all about the science. Mm. She loved the brain. Yeah. I mean, she, she was there for the start of MAPS in 2015, yeah. and you were telling me just off camera before about the incredible life that she had before that as yeah. well. Yeah, that's right. She was a solo mother. Um, she uh, was a sports journalist, the first ever one in New Zealand, uh, and she loved sport. We'd go and watch the tennis. Federer Djokovic, we mm. watched uh, the Aussie Open. Uh, we'd go watch the cricket. Um, but she also was a war correspondent and then she retrained uh, as a, um, you know, clinical neuropsychotherapist. She was amazing. Very smart um, woman. Yeah, and really it just shows you you can do so many things mm. in your life. Do you know what I reckon? Um, she was just calm mm. yeah. uh, and, and, yeah, and right. unflappable. Um, yeah. and, and that was one of those things that I always took away from meeting with her, that it was, she had such a positive influence on people in person mm. and, and that, that really crossed over through the TV to people in their living rooms. Yeah, and I Do think... Do you have a particular memory? Oh, I have a lot of uh, great memories uh, with her. I mean, she, she got so excited about anything to do with the brain and love, and she bought into this experiment, the pheromone test, where people would smell, mm. you know, clothes, and she just gets so mm. excited about all of that, and she... We, you know, she also wore this white lab coat, mm. you know, which was amazing. She made it look, you know, kind of fashionable. Uh, she, she was great as well because she'd keep me in check, you know. Sometimes I'd be yelling at the participants and mm. she'd say, you know, John, don't get too preachy. Bring it down a notch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so she was always, like you say, that calm voice of reason. And, um, you know, we, we kind of all looked up to her. And it resonated with viewers, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I, I, and you see that around the world now. People really um, are very sad to, to, to mm. see that um, she's no longer here. But, you know, uh, I think all of us are very, very um, grateful that we spend a bit of time with her. And in reality television, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of conflict. And it was always wonderful to have someone who was so grounded mm. in the mix of it all. I think everyone was shocked. Um, and people, it, it automatically, uh, people go to, uh, you know, what happened to her and, and the families. Mm. Um, within their rights to say um, respect um, at this yeah, point. You know. Yeah, I think, and, and that's always something in grief, you know. Tricia, although she was on, you know, Australasia's number one show uh, and also went round the world, she was also quite a private person mm. and um, she had a lot of integrity and I, and I think uh, so that's really how we um, respect those wishes now. 100%. You know? What do you think she would make of love surges? <laughs> we just saw them. Yeah. I wonder what her take would be. Well, she would I definitely mean, have a take. She certainly wouldn't get thrown by it no. uh, because uh, she was always, you know, she would just look at the facts. You know, if, if there was some hard-hitting science behind it, she'd uh, <laughs> look into it. If it was frivolous, she'd just push it to one side and move forward. Well, yeah. well we're definitely frivolous. Yes, for sure. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Um, she's a huge loss, and to all yeah. of her family and, and friends and community, um, we just wish mm. them all the very best in, in grieving for yeah. what was a wonderful person. Yeah, amazing person, and I'll be at the uh, at her funeral this week, and yeah. it'll be great to um, represent the Nine and the Endemol Shine yeah. family. Yeah. She left a mark, that is for certain. Love to you and the Good family, night. John. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. Thank you, John. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> 
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?